Word problems, word problems. Word problems. Okay, um, here's a word problem. Two whole numbers. You're given two whole numbers, the sum of seven and the difference is three. What are the numbers? Okay, let's, let's take a look from what we know about whole numbers. So this means no decimals or fractions. Okay, so we're dealing with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, including zero. Uh, sum of seven. Okay, um, we don't know what the numbers are. Um, they're whole numbers and they add up to seven, so that means they cannot be the same number. Like three plus three would be six, four plus four would be eight. So it can't be the same number. Um, so we have, uh, anyway, we have two different numbers. That's what I'm getting at. So two different numbers equals uh, seven. The difference is, there's a difference of three, which means if you subtract one from the other, you get uh, three, okay? So this is what we set up from our equations here. Um, this tricky word problem has become a real basic solving your systems of equations kind of thing, okay? Um, well, let's see here. I could subtract this whole equation from the other, like the other times for elimination, or I could combine them because check it out. A positive one y here, like a positive one y here and a negative one y here, if I combine these things together, the y's will vanish. So I'm going to do that to show you a different way to do it. So I'll combine these here. And now I get 2x, right? 2x plus 0y equals 10, okay? Uh, on a gra graphically, I'll show you what I'm talking about combining. Okay, if I had a, if this was y equals one, and I had a, uh, if this was y equals one, and I had another graph of y equals three. Okay, think about this. Like this is one buck, and this is three bucks in your bank account, and I added them together, you would have four bucks in your bank account. Okay, that's the whole idea here about combining equations. We took this money here, we added it to this money here, now here's your total money, okay? We took an equation, combined it with another equation, here's your next equation, okay? That's what we're doing here. We're taking one equation, we're adding another equation, equation, and here's our resulting equation, okay? So, the bank account, maybe, maybe that'll, that'll make sense of why, why it works, okay? Um, if it doesn't, then I'm just like, blah, 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 I'm just talking and kind of, maybe out of my mind. Okay, let's solve this here. 2x equals 10. Number 2, x equals 5. Okay, so what? Oh, wow. If x equals 5, what, what's our easiest trick in the book is to just substitute this back into one of our equations. x plus y equals 7. If x is 5, I'll put that in place of x. And I'm just going to solve for y. I'm not going to write it. I'm going to be smart and lazy. Y equals 2. Okay? So when x equals 5, y equals 2. Okay? Well, that's our x, y point if we, were to, if we were to graph this thing. But what are we looking for here? Word problems. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Well, here's our two numbers. We had a 5 and a 2. So we have to answer the question in the same phrasing of how the question was asked. So the answer to our question would be, oh sorry, I should have asked the question at the beginning. The question is this, what are the two numbers? Oh boy, okay. The answer is like this. The numbers are, notice how I'm framing the answer just like the question was asked. The numbers are five and two, period. There's your answer in words, just like the question is given in words. Okay? Solve it just like before. If you got any questions, give me a holla. I'll be happy to help.